Okay, guys. Now, I know it's not the new cam or the San Siro. Or to be fair, it's not even Cardiff Met Uni, really, is it? It's, uh, yeah, a little bit underwhelming. But it is still Europe, guys. And we have a chance to become club legends here today. We can forevermore be known as the Lithuanian legends. The villainous victors. The... I don't know, guys. Let's just get in the dressing room and make sure you wash your hands when you get there, please. This place is disgusting. Hi guys, I'm Aussie Villain. Welcome to episode 11 of The Impossible Dream with Bala Town as we look to, if not win the Champions League, certainly go as close as we can. And today we are in Lithuania for the first of two games against uh, Zelgrius Vilnius uh, of Lithuania, of course. And this is a big, big chance for us to win a European tie. I've got to be honest, we're not the favourites for the tie, um, but it's a chance nonetheless. Now a few things to catch you up on um, before we get to this. First of all, we do have a new player at the club. Let's all meet Damien Olmark, previously known as some other name that no one could pronounce. Uh, but of course, Damien, thank you very much, mate, a Patreon supporter of mine. Um, he will be featuring in the team in this season and beyond. Um, yep, yeah, so welcome, Damien Olmark. And if you do want to have a regen named after you, um, check out my Patreon. There's a link down in the description and it'll let you know how to do it from there. Um, so that's that. Now, we do have a few players in on trial uh, right now that we're looking at. Um, we haven't really been able to get a full gauge of them. Kanu uh, Marsh-Brown looks to be a decent option, uh, so we may see more of him. We've also got a goalkeeper here. You can see the star ratings make them look, you know, they could be, these guys could be good players. Um, it's just a matter of, of them playing one, a couple of, a couple of friendly games so we can have a proper look at them. I'm not sure about uh, Elliot Thorpe, to be honest, uh, and Michael Chambers down here as well, a defensive option, possibly. Um, so like I say, we'll have a look at them and see exactly, exactly what we get. Uh, but otherwise, there are no new players at the club as of yet. It's only been about a week game time since we got uh, last episode. We got knocked out by Astana. Now the other thing that has happened, if we go to the Europa League uh, draw here, um, to stages, there is the draw for the next round. Now, if we were to get uh, get through here, which I'd like to think we will. Um, we could be facing Astana again because we play the loser of uh, Nyok Peng and Astana. So if we get knocked out by Astana twice in a season, I will not be happy. I will be slightly annoyed. Um, but let's get past this Get past this one first. So we can see we're not the favourites. Both teams obviously lost both games. Well, not obviously, but both teams lost both games. They lost 1-0 twice um, to the, an Icelandic team. So that kind of is what it is there. We don't have too much information. We saw last episode, they're, all, they're just a grayed out team. Um... We are kind of expecting them to play like this, but we don't really know. You can see they do like to come through the middle, so we might look to sort of defend a little bit narrowly against them. But this is a team that we're sending out. A few changes um, from the team that we had play against... Uh, who did we play against? Astana. So Lynch continues in goal. It's Kelly. Taylor continues. He played the second leg against them, and we looked. Up, I thought we looked a little bit better defensively in that one. So he comes in for this one with Williams and Nichols. We don't have our Welsh uh, international, well, under-19 international back yet. He should be back for the second leg. Um, so hopefully. Uh, so Vieira continues in midfield with Gosset and Jones. Jones is a little bit match sharper now, so let's hope we see the benefit of that. We're going to bring uh, Waite in to play on the right wing for this one. Um, so hopefully... He'll prove his class here. Neto goes down the left again with Bus and Brew continuing up top. And here we go. Here we go. I'm really nervous for this one. Astana, I didn't really expect to go through. Yeah, you know, I always hope maybe, you know, my tactical genius, I can make something happen. But this I, this one, I really actually think we could go through. Um, have got nothing to lose here. Sure, we're capable of. I mean, we're not the favorites. Let's, let's maybe try that. Some calm. We have faith. Yeah. Oh, I'm getting nervous. And here we go, here we go, here we go. We are defending a little bit narrowly, uh, well, more with, as narrow as we can. Um, if you didn't notice that, uh, I, I did change that after I sort of threw to the tunnel interview. I, did, I went back to change that. Um, just the way they're set up, I just wonder if that's possibly the best way to do things here. Um, ideally, we want some away goals, don't we? I, I mean, we saw against Astana, if we had that one away goal, it just would have kept us in the tie perhaps a little bit longer than we were. Uh, in the second leg. Here we go. Henry Jones over a free kick. And it's tapped around the post. Not the most convincing save by the goalkeeper. But a save nonetheless. We go over to take the corner. It's Gosset. Can he pick out one of the boys in the middle? Bust and bruise there. It's headed away. And again. Can we pick that up? Wait is there. He can pick it up. For Gosset. Back post. Bust and bruise. Just ever so slightly overhit. Can he keep it in? He does. But there was a 
not really much on there, was it? We pick it up with Nichols. Is the highlight going to continue here? We're half an hour in. The game is flying by. Um, yeah, building from the back. Like it, like it, boys. Sensible, please, Taylor. Oh, Jesus. Uh, it's a good ball for Buston Brew. Can he turn? No, he can't. He's beaten in the air. And it's coming back with, I tell you what, we're looking okay here, aren't we? There's a good ball for Wait, Can he pick out someone? Can he go himself? He goes himself. Was Buss and Brew an option there? It would. It was tight. There were defenders in the area. Maybe just going for goal himself was the best option. Look at this, though. We're dominating the game. Can we find ourselves a goal here? A goal that could blow the tie wide open. Um, Kelly's, again, not having his best game at left back. There's a decent ball. Buss and Brew. Oh, that was a really, really good chance. He was unmarked, and he can't find the back of the net. That's not been too bad. Um, we're certainly playing someone on our level. I'm. What does the assistant say? The efforts were excellent. Do we say unlucky? I'm going to say I'm not pleased. Yeah, we saw again. <laughs> yeah, let's not talk about the team talks to Mastana because they weren't great, were they? Um. Yeah, I just feel like the match ratings aren't aren't particularly good. We have we have looked okay as a team, but individually perhaps we're just not quite there. Do we go attacking, I wonder, this second half? Let's let's go at them here. You just wonder if they are if they are there to, for the taking a little bit. I wonder if we look to exploit the flanks perhaps as well. There's Neto. Goes back for Kelly. Cross in. It's there. It's Henry Jones! And we do have an away goal. Henry Jones is first of the season. Bala take the lead. It's 1-0 in Lithuania. And we're on our way. We're on our way. Come on, boys. Come on. Vamos. Vamos. I don't know what Welsh is for. Come on. Um, oh, it's a good ball, isn't it? It's a good ball in. Henry Jones took up an excellent position. He ghosted in. The Lithuanians had no answer to that run. And let's demand a little bit more here. And let's see if we can kick on. But the away goal, that could be absolutely massive, couldn't it? Absolutely huge. Gosset's not having a great game in there. So let's make a change. Um, do we bring Muddy Moo on? I wonder. Um... Who do we bring on here? Molly New. Molly New can take a corner. We could bring Molly New on the right and drop weight into midfield. I don't hate that, actually. Um, let's do that. What is weight's best position in midfield? That's fine. He can play there. Uh, and then we can play him as an inside... No, uh, inverted winger. We'll go with the inverted winger. All right. Come on, boys. Come on. Let's, let's, get, crea oh, let's get creative as the highlight begins. Can we win this ball, please? A second away goal... And I, it will be party time. Here we go with Molly New. Can he avenge the Astana Demons? Molly New! No! Oh! He had a chance in the away in Astana. And he's had a chance away in Lithuania. And he's pushed the post to post bah, 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 on both times. Jones. Good ball. It's straight into the keeper's hands from Reese Williams. Oh, come on. Is that the highlight? Is it going to continue? Can we win that ball? Oh, dear. Oh, dear. We've got men back. We should be able to do enough. Surely. We've got men back now, so it's not... Oh, there we go. Oh, can't quite keep possession there. We go again. Come on, boys. Keep your heads. Keep your heads. It's a long shot, and that's easy for Lynch. You're not going to score from there, boys. Not on this boy. Come on. Rolls it out for Williams. The highlight, is it going to continue? It looks like it might do. Here's Molly New. What can he do? Ball in there for Jones in lots of space. Henry Jones. He looks out for Neto. He's got the overlapping run there of Kelly. Can he find him? He doesn't use him. He goes himself instead. Can he slip a pass in? He goes back for Vieira. Vieira for wait! And we will continue to wait for this second goal. Horrible pun, but there we go. It had to be done, didn't it? All right. 12 minutes to go. Another goal kick for the Lithuanians. Can we get that? We can. Molyneux knocks it down, but there's no one there really to keep possession to. He's won it back there, though. Go on, Molyneux. He's looked. We've looked good since he came on, haven't we? There's a good ball for Henry Jones. Can he double a tally? No, it's Vieira. It's Neto! Oh! What an effort from Neto and a decent save from the keeper as well. The second goal here and it could be tie over. Oh, it's another save. No, it's clipped the post on its way out. Oh, we're looking good. We're looking good. Come on, boys. What we don't want to do, of course, is get sucker punched here, getting a bit too excited, but... Here we go in Europe, nominating a game, and Molly New gives us the second away goal, and that is surely enough now to see us through the tie. For what we've seen from this mob at their home ground, this should be enough. 
this should be enough. Let's tell them to concentrate. We don't want to give them a way back into the game, ideally. But what they can't do is take away the away goals we've already scored. Good ball in. Molly New with a good side foot finish. He does have his goal in Europe now. I'm choking up. I'm getting emotional. This is excellent stuff. Look at this. We've dominated a game away from home in Europe. And we will be known from this day forth as the Lithuanian legend. Let's give him some praise. And there it is, boys. That is absolutely huge. Absolutely huge. We are surely progressing to the next round. Let's uh, let's say don't get complacent. That was a really good performance, though. Oh, come on, boys. When they lose and I tell them they did okay, they're angry at me. <laughs> when they win and I say don't get complacent, they're angry at me. I tell you what, that's a good sign because Kelly was not great, if we're honest, last time out uh, against the stun. It was a tough uh, debut for him. But 2-0 up going into the second leg. I think we're going through. Let's come back and find out. Okay, guys. Welcome back. We're back in Wales now. And we are looking to progress in a European tie. We're still not the favourites, which I think is outrageous considering what we did to them last time. Um, nothing has really changed here. We know roughly what to expect. We can have a look now at exactly how they did play uh, against us last time. They did come through the middle more often than not. So it was a good decision, I think, to defend a bit a bit, uh, a bit more narrowly. Um, I'm wondering if we should actually look to get down the sides off on this game. But we'll wait and see. Uh, one thing I will need to do here is change that in here so it stays like that. Anyway, this is the team we're sending out. It's more or less the same team, just one or two changes. Uh, Lynch uh, continues in goal. Horwood's going to come in left back for this one because Kelly's a, a booking away from his suspension. Um, given that ooh, we should be okay, but I don't want to lose what is going to be our first choice left back for the next round. Uh, Denham is going to come in to make his debut, so that's exciting. He's going to be alongside Williams and Nichols with the rest, as the rest of the back four. Vieira, Gosse, and Jones will keep that faith with that trio in midfield. Wait, uh, Neto and Bastenbury will keep faith with them as well. Um, and one other thing I should probably update you on is if we go to... Uh, actually, it's not going to show us here. We need to go back to Champions League. Here we go, and we will see that Astana did beat uh, Nirokum Ping. Um, so, if we are to get through this, it will be the Swedish champions we face in the next round. So, it'll be an interesting gauge of exactly how good we are. I don't necessarily think we will beat them, but you never know. Um, you never know. Each game we play, of course, our team is getting more match fit. They're getting more used to each other. Um, so, you just, you just never know. Uh, what do we say here? Pick up where you left off last time. Um... Don't allow complacency. I'm not going to... Uh, Alright, let's let's go with that. Um, I don't think we'll get complacent, but you never know. It's, uh, I mean, it's only 2-0. It's a new game. Let's go out and win this game, boys. So, yeah. I'll get nervous. If they, if they score the first goal, I will definitely start to get nervous. Um, but here we go. We're at the right end. We're at the race course ground, which I think is Wrexham's ground in real life. Um, so that's why the stadium looks a little bit different to the, our usual one. Um, it is something that... What's going to happen there? We do win the ball. Hallwood has it. And there we go. We're away. Um, we should be away anyway. It's not... There's a Neto across. It's there for, for Wait. Can he square it? Bass and Bruce in a little bit of space. If he can find it, he goes himself. And it's a little bit selfish from Wait. Um, yeah, with the comments from the sort of the last from from yesterday's episode, and again, thank you for all the comments. I really, I really do appreciate them, and I love uh, sort of the interaction as well. Um, and yeah, it is it is going to be a bit of a slow build. That's not what we wanted. An early goal for the Lithuanians, and boys, let's show some passion here, please. It's a bit of a worldie if we're honest, but oh no, have we got the party going a little bit too soon here? And, oh, it's a good goal, isn't it? Let's just put that down to a freak of nature. And can we go and draw level on the night? It's a, over the top. Um, I mean, it's the only attacking highlight we've seen of them in, in a, what, a game in a little bit here. So I don't want to... I don't want to panic. But if they score again, they've cancelled out our away goals. And then it does get a little bit nervous, doesn't it? I'd love us to score a goal if we can, boys. I know that's very selfish of me, but if we could get a goal here, I'd feel a lot better about things. All right, it's a highlight. Is it going to be our highlight? Nichols throws it in there for Vieira. Vieira for Nichols. It's a decent ball in. It's there. It's Neto, and Neto sticks it away. His first goal of the season. Nichols with the assist, and that makes me feel a little bit better. Still one of the away goals are cancelled out, but 
That's better than nothing, isn't it? Oh, yeah, so the comments last episode, yeah, it is going to be a slow build from here. I think the first thing we need to do is try and turn professional. Now, if we can get through as many rounds of qualifying here, that's all going to be money. Uh, my kind of, my plan is to get to the end of this season, hopefully with some money in the bank, and then ask if we can turn professional. Oh, it's unlucky from Williams off the crossbar. He's offside, though, so it wouldn't have counted anyway. Um... See if we can turn professional, and if not, we need to make sure we're in a, a position so that we come back and we do this all again next year. Now, can we defend the corner? Oh, we can. Uh, that's... Jesus. Um, yeah, we need to make sure we're in a position to come back and do this all again next season. Uh, there is that the new European competition, the Euro Cup 2 or whatever it's called, that does start next season. So that, I'm not sure how that will affect where we parachute, if we can just keep parachuting down from Champions League, Europa League into the... I don't know how, I don't know exactly how that works. If you do know how that works, if you've got that, that far ahead, um, then please, uh, please do let me know. I think it's got to be an assertive, don't get complacent here, boys. Don't get complacent. We're not particularly happy with Denham on the boo. It's not been a great start for him. Only a 6-5. Horwood's doing a decent job. Um... Vieira is doing a decent job. Vieira looks as though he's going to sign a new contract. It, it's sort of been agreed, but not signed yet. Um, so if that does go through, it's a three-year deal. Um, so that's that's really good for us. It'll keep him here sort of relatively long-term. Um, Wade is not having his best game, though. He has picked up a little bit since half-time, so that's good. Let's get creative here, boys. If we can get another goal, and I think we do, I mean, we do deserve another goal. We deserve to be winning on the night as well. Uh, and this is at the end we're attacking, isn't it? Yes, it is. Gosse, decent ball in again. Bastenbrew's there. Bastenbrew gets himself a European goal. His first of the season. And that's 2-1 on the night. 4-1 on aggregate. And I think now we can take a deep breath. That should be job done. Good header from Bastenbrew. He missed a sitter in the first leg. But he planted that one in the back of the net. And that is excellent, excellent stuff. Let's give them some praise. I don't like the complacency. What we will actually look to do here too. Let's look to give Damien Allmark a a debut here. Oh, that didn't quite work. Um, and let's give Muddy Moo a game. Henry Jones is not having a great game. So what we might do is we might take him off. We'll switch Vieira around. Uh, Muddy Moo just sitting there as a defensive midfielder. Vieira, um, let's send you box to box and... Gosse, we've seen him as a playmaker before, do a decent job. Uh, oh, let's just keep it as it is. Let, we won't play with a playmaker for now. Uh, it's a good chance to experiment a little bit with that as well. Now, the big question here is, on the boo, can Olmark get himself a goal? That's the big question here, isn't it? He did uh, play in a friendly and got get a goal in the friendly. Um, so that's that was that was good to see. One thing he is lacking a little bit, there's a... Oh, just kept going away from him, didn't it? I think it actually might have been Neto. Not yeah, it wasn't actually all mark up there. One thing he does lack a little bit off the ball movement isn't great in composure. So we're working on that in training with him to try and and improve that. Finishing is good. We've seen that physically. He's good. Just uh, maybe sort of oh, it's a decent ball. Just couldn't quite get on the end of it. Hallwood back in. It's there for Wait hey, hey, hey! and James Wait gets his first of the season. His first for the club. It's 3-1 on the night, 5-1 on aggregate, and we are running away with it now. Excellent stuff from the boys, the Bala boys. Oh, it's a good finish too, isn't it? We are progressing, we're winning a European tie. Well done to us. That's just, it's just, just a good feeling, isn't it? Just a really, really good feeling. We come back, it's not done yet. Can we, I mean, we start to get into like thrashing territories here soon, don't we? If we get another one. Um... It doesn't particularly matter if they score. They're five. They they're make it five two. So there's there's no way back for them here. Nichols brings it down. He looks for all mark. He's one ahead of there, I think, but couldn't quite find weight with the with the flick on. Are we going to go and concede a goal? It'd be a shame if we did. To be fair, that's a good board. Denham picks up Hallwood up for all mark. Good header out there for Neto. Neto looks for weight. He's going to have to wait for support. He does just that. They've blocked the crossing. That's a shame. Can he get a secondary ball? And he finds Gosset. Back for wait. It's back post. Neto. And out there. Neto. That's his second. And it is officially route on. It's 4-1 on the night. 6-1 on aggregate. And the big question now. Let me know what you think in the comments. Can we beat the Swedish champions? That's a big ask. 
you know, they're, they're going to be a professional club. They're probably not going to be great out players. Um, but it's another tie in Europe. And I think at this stage, it's round appearance money. Uh, so just getting through will guarantee us more money. But that is a stunning performance. I'm really, really happy with that. It's good that we've made a bit of a mark on Europe this year. It's not, obviously, it's not the Champions League now. We've got we've to be careful we don't get complacent, I think. Oh, they agree with me. Yeah, we've got to be careful we don't get complacent. But that is, that was a good, just a good performance. Uh, Ormark makes his debut um, along with, oh, no, it was just Denham, was it? It's Ormark already. Oh, he may have already played before we renamed him. Uh, but Denham there makes his debut. There we go, money in the bank. Uh, and we'll, so we can expect that, if not more, for the next round as well, I would imagine. We are playing, here we go, I'm not even going to try it. Uh, Narokoping, um, what do they have by way of players? Any names here we recognize? I recognize Simon Thurn. Uh, he's a good player, I think. He's got Swedish cap, so yeah, he's a good player. Um, Denmark, another Swedish international. So they, they, it's going to be tough. Um, a Montenegrin international there as well. Go away, go away. Um, Jamie Hopcut, no caps for him. Christopher Knight, another international. So it's going to be tough. It's going to, that guy has 12 goals already this season. Not just in Europe, obviously, but it's going to be tough, but we're there. And it's going to be more money in the bank as well. Neto with two goals, absolutely wonderful stuff from him. He's just starting to look like a good player, isn't he, for us? Um, Kande is looking at uh, Mario Vieira for the next game we have fixture realignments to go with this european fixture there's not usually welsh clubs still in it at this point i would imagine so we will be back tomorrow and we will be back to play the first leg we go away to sweden for the first leg we'll skip over um this welsh league cup second round game we should be able to beat either of those teams comfortably and then we will start the welsh premier league season away to the new saints that's going to be big, guys. It's going to be a baptism of fire. Two huge away games. Can we keep going in Europe? Let me know what you think in the comments. If you have enjoyed this, guys, please do hit thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you next time. Take care.